Brad Nelson, the Nelson Jones gang. Their caves are over, they're right on the border by a nice little butte. It's a really nice thing they dug in. They had one cave for a saddle horse. The other horses ran free and the gang lived in the other cave. And they could climb this little pointy butte and see dust coming from miles around if anybody was coming. They could get the saddle horse out of the cave, which was hid, go round up the other ones which were running loose with rancher stock, saddle them up and get out of there before anybody showed up to get them. Sam Kelly alias Red Nelson was uh, one of the leaders of the Nelson Jones gang. Sam Kelly rode with the Wild Bunch. He knew was friends with Butch Cassidy, the Sundance Kid. When they headed to South America, before they left, they came up and visited Sam Kelly. Everybody knew when Sam had visitors. When Sam had a visitor, and if you wanted to get shot, you went in when the rain barrel was laid on its side. If the rain barrel was standing up, it was okay to go visit Sam. Jones, and tra Kid Trailer, and all the rest of the Nelson Jones gang lived together in their cave along the border right along the border. Sam always lived separately from the gang. Every one of his gang other than Sam was either shot or hung. However Sam, when he decided to get out of the business, he made a deal with the US government or army. He turned in, he rode down to Plentywood and turned in his two six guns and in return for that he got a pardon, amnesty for all the crimes he committed and then he left up north towards Debden to Kelly Lake which was named after him and he had a half section there and that's where he lived out his days. Even when he was up there when Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid came back from South America they were at Debden visiting Sam. So these guys on horseback had ridden this whole country and knew all this the outlaw trail started right in the Big Muddy Valley and extended south and there was safe houses all the way south to South America where these guys could get food, water, fresh mounts and anonymity. Sam was uh, totally different than the rest of them. Like he didn't party with them. He was Butch Cassidy Sundance kid. They were just cold killers. They were calm, collected and any one of them would just, if they thought you were a threat, would just shoot you dead and that would have been the end of it and they would have thought nothing of it. There isn't enough time to tell it all, you just have to come and see.